Bet y'all didn't know that Elvis recorded all of his hit songs with a ukulele. Yeah. Right. Actually, that's a lie. Well, maybe it lies a little too strong. Let's just say it's an alternative fact. Yeah. 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 But here's something that's a certifiable truth. There have been dozens upon dozens of videos on YouTube touting the Godox SL60W as the Aperture 120D killer. Now, I never thought about it like that. I've always thought that people who bought the Godox SL60W, like me, couldn't afford to spend $745 on a video light or just didn't want to. Now, there's nothing wrong with the Godox SL60W, except that the fan is a little noisy. And if you put a softbox on it with a couple of layers of diffusion, it lacks a little bit in light output. But I used mine for over a year to make YouTube videos, and I made a few videos about the light itself, and you can check those out here. Now I'm sure that the folks who bought the Godox SL60W would have gladly purchased the Aperture 120D if the price were a lot lower. So the folks at Aperture must have had an epiphany, which means they must have thought of something pretty quick. And they must have said, hey, these folks are buying this Godox SL60W because they just want a decent light at a decent price, and they can't afford the 120D for $745. Thus, the Aperture Amaran 100D was born. And from the early reviews, it's going to be a Godox SL60W killer. killer. And here's why. There are already a ton of reviews out there for the 100D and the 200D on YouTube. One in particular I'd like to point out is one by Caleb Pike, or DSLR Shooter as he's known on YouTube. Now, Caleb's video goes into great detail about the 100D and the 200D. So if you want to go into the specs and more detail, check out his video. I'll leave a link below in the description. See, Aperture did not send me one to review because, well, Aperture doesn't know I exist. But maybe one day they will. Maybe. I have a 100D on order, and when I get the light and I have a chance to play with it for a while, I'll do a complete review. But for now, I want to go into a few reasons why if you're looking to purchase a Godox SL60W, or if you already have a Godox SL60W and you're looking for a little bit stronger light, you might want to consider this Aperture Amaran 100D. The Aperture Amaran 100D sells for $199, and the Godox SL60W sells for $134. But I think you're getting a heck of a lot more light for the $199 for the $60 more that you would pay for it than you would with the Godox SL60W. And here are some of the reasons why. I'm going to go through a quick list of some of the features of the 100D so you can get an idea of how it compares with the Godox SL60W and to give you an idea of what you would be getting for your money if you decide to purchase one of these. First of all, it has a brightness level of 39,500 lux at one meter, and that's with a hyper reflector such as this. Just like a standard reflector, except it's more reflective and has a greater light output. Just so you know. Now, as far as the features of the 100D compared with the Godox SL60W, they both are daylight balanced at 5600K. The 100D has a CRI of 95 plus. Just like the Godox SL60W, the 100D is daylight balanced. It has an umbrella holder, just like the Godox SL60W. But unlike the Godox SL60W, there is no remote included with the 100D. However, you can control it using Aperture's Citus Link app. The Citus Link app controls not only this light, but any other Aperture lights that you may have. It gives you a wide variety of control over all the features of the light. And as far as this light is concerned, it does feature eight built-in effects. Now, they're the standard type like lightning, uh, television screen flashing, uh, faulty light bulb, those kind of things. So if you need those for filmmaking or for whatever use you may have, those are handy to have and they do not come with the Godox SL60W. As far as the brightness control on the 100D, it's zero to 100%. And I'm assuming that's not in steps. That's stepless, so you can go from 1% all the way up to 100%. 
I have yet to play with one of these lights yet, so I'll have to see if that's what they mean. It has 48 volt DC input. Aperture lists this light as being able to be powered by battery power, 48 volt battery. I'm not quite sure at this point what that means, how much it would cost, or how widely these batteries are available. So that's something I'll look forward to learning in the future. Just like the Godox SL60W, there's built-in control on the back of the light that you can control the light manually and adjust the level with a simple turn of the knob. Just like the Godox SL60W, the 100D has a plastic body, which is one way Aperture keeps the cost down. Another advantage of the 100D over the Godox SL60W is the fan noise. From all the reviews I've heard, the fan noise of the 100D is excellent compared to the Godox SL60W. To me, the best thing about the 100D is the light output that you're going to get. From all the reviews I've seen, the 100D compares favorably with the Aperture 120D as far as light output. That, compared with the Godox SL60W, there's no comparison. I'm recording this video on January 14th, and according to Aperture, the release date for these lights, the 100D and the 200D, is either January 20th or 21st. So if you're trying to purchase one through outlets like B&H, Amazon, or Adorama, they are currently back-ordered until they're released. And I assume they're going to have a backlog of orders to fill whenever they are released. So if you're interested in getting one, I would suggest you go ahead and pre-order one now. Now, as I said earlier, the list price for the 100D is $199, and the list price for the 200D is $299. Look on Amazon, you'll see that those prices are a little bit higher. The 100D is selling for $100. No, it's selling for $249, I believe, but I believe they're throwing in some extras there that you may not need or want. So I would suggest going to B&H or Adorama or one of those stores if you want to purchase one or if you want to get in line to purchase one. If you're looking to purchase a budget video light like the Godox SL60W, or if you already own the Godox SL60W and you're looking for an upgrade, I would give serious consideration to this Aperture 100D you're going to be getting a lot brighter light. In fact, from the reviews I've seen, this Aperture 100D compares favorably with the Aperture 120D. Plus, you're going to be getting a light with a lot quieter fan and a lot better quality. With all these features in mind, this 100D may turn out just to be the Godox SL60W killer. killer. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.